Andy! Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Congratulations on your deal in Denver, Dave. I'm putting you down to deal with Dallas. Don, is it a deal? Do we have a deal? It's a deal. I got to go. I got to call. Come Mom, in. you put thunder when it's like having a burnish board. A closer look. Hello, everyone. I'm Dawn Fortangelo, and welcome to A Closer Look. Faith Daniels isn't here today because this is a big day for her. She's taking her son to his first day of kindergarten. And at last report, Andrew was doing okay, but Mom, it seems she's a little frazzled. Well, this week, we've been focusing on nostalgia on A Closer Look, the stuff that, for better or worse, helps define our lives. We've looked at important news events, and we revisited the 60s. But for a television generation, maybe what we remember best are those things they stick in between the shows. The commercials. It seems we just can't get some of the characters and the jingles out of our heads. NBC's Gary Matsumoto takes a closer look. B O M O M O Bonomo. Oh, 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 it's Bonomo. Candy. Brush a brush a brush uh, with our pan of toothpaste. With a brand new flavor, it's dandy for your teeth. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. Commercials, some of them more memorable than the shows they interrupt. The Joe Azuzu ads were, were pretty cool. When he first came out, like, he was, it was hysterical. So they're selling them for $9. And if you come in tomorrow, you'll get a free house. The average viewer can see up to 25,000 commercials a year, and some we never forget. Tony Tiger says... Tony the Tiger. All these, all these things are, are, there's so much a part of your life. You look at, you spend hours looking at television. These people pop up all the time. They're regular. You can depend on them. They're never going to disappoint you. They never lie to you. They never say anything. They're your friends. I don't get too many calls. The folks who star in commercials have become symbols of the past for the TV viewing public. Hey, tag repairman. I think because they're so familiar, they're much more familiar with someone like Mr. Whipple or Cora or Chef Boyardee than they are with certain books they've read or certain uh, uh, poets or something they've learned in school. Our first exercise, ladies, hide the hands. They really are part of our family. I've seen more of Mr. Whipple and Madge than I've seen of my mother and father. Madge, mm. you and Palmolive, what a find! I didn't know we were lost. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is that you remember the people more than the product they were trying to sell. And that's been a problem for some of the advertising companies. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. So advertisers will try anything to make the message sink in. Often the sillier, the better. Squeeze the melons. But please don't squeeze the new Charmin bathroom tissue. You know, if a guy in a supermarket came up to the aisle like a busybody snooping over your shoulder to see if you're squeezing toilet paper, what would you do? You'd call a psychiatrist or call the police. For a closer look, I'm Gary Matsumoto, NBC News. We're back now on a closer look. Her name is Jane Withers. You probably know her better as Josephine the Plumber. <laughs> Aluminum pot marks? This old porcelain is stained deep, mister. Mister, my name's Josephine. A lady plumber? Yep, and proud of it. This sink will clean up like new. Not with any cleanser. No, ma'am, not any cleanser. The stain-removing cleanser. Comet. Only Comet's got chlorinol. What's chlorinol? She's so cute and bubbly. <laughs> and Jane Withers, Josephine the plumber, is with us now. Actually, what the folks at home don't know, this is kind of a reunion for the two of you because, Dick, you were telling us that you made your first movie yeah, and with I was Jane. thrilled to death. And, and believe me, she had a mother, uh, and and the mother was absolutely loved, and she loved everybody, and she, and Jane loved everybody, and everybody loved Jane and oh. her mother. <laughs> and Jane, you were in the movies as well. Did you think that? Um, oh yes, that's how yes, I got started. exactly. <laughs> Did you think you'd be most successful making commercials when you first started out? I didn't have a clue. I always, I only do the things I like and the things I really believe in. Otherwise, I don't do them. Mm -hmm. And I had turned down 31 commercials before doing Josephine, because the first question was, what is your product? Uh, I'm a really, truly housewife at that time, because I now have five children and five wonderful grandchildren, I'm grateful to say. But then I only had three children. And but so I really believed in the product. Oh, oh, I have to. I have to believe in whatever I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. How did you come to play Josephine? Well, it's, a, it's kind of interesting. They called and asked again, 
would you like to, I was away at first, I was doing a, a wonderful show, a Christian show, mm -hmm. to, hit, to pitch hit for a friend in Canada. So I called home that night to check with the kids and see that the dogs and that everybody was okay. And my husband said, oh, they've called again about another commercial and they've called several times. I said, what's the product? He said, I didn't ask mommy, that's your department. So anyway, I called to check to see who it was. Well, this lovely man named Jack Kelk was head of casting for Compton Advertising mm -hmm. at the time. He said, where have you been hiding? We've been <laughs> trying to find you. I said, well, I really hadn't wanted to work because I'm a housewife and a mummy now. So make a long story short, he said, we have a commercial. I said, what's the product? He said, Comet Cleanser. I said, dear Gussie, I really use that and it <laughs> is the best. But now wait a minute, I'm not one of those ladies that can say, hi, I have a wonderful product for you. <laughs> I said, that's not my Bealy Wax. Was it I your said, idea to make Josephine a plumber? Oh, no. Oh, it was their idea, mm -hmm. but when he, I said, he said, I said, you know, I've played character parts. He said, well, this is really a character. This is a lady plumber. And the minute he said lady plumber, Dawn, something I saw like silver, a silver illumination. It's only happened to me about four times in my life. And I said, thank you, God, this is another prayer answered because my husband wanted to study law. And I said, okay, daddy, the only way for you to do it right, because it's going to be nine hours a day of just reading besides studying and learning. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to work part time. He said, What can you do part time? Because I jump in feet first I guess and you give it 150 percent. I said, I don't know, we'll put it in prayer. And the next night was our prayer group, and we put it in prayer that night. And then when they told me about Josephine, I said, Could I test for it? And they said, Would you test for it? I said, Of course, that's the only way you're gonna see if I'm right or not. And a female plumber at those times, you were breaking barriers back oh, then. Oh boy, and I knew that. And so then when, when, they, when they showed me the script, it was very different than yeah. what I felt a lady plumber would be like. Because she was very tough and said like, hi, I'm Josephine the lady plumber, get out of my way and don't bother me, I'll get, my, I'll get your job done. Kind of bossy. I thought, heavens to Betsy, if a lady like that came to my front <laughs> door, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even let her in. Would you ever recreate Josephine? Ah. Uh, I don't know. It's it's it came up. It's come up all the time with the fans. I get hundreds of letters, and I'm sure you do too, yes. saying we miss yes. you. You we we you, at least you came into our home every day, all day, and that's the one way we can keep up with you. I don't know. We've never talked about it. I think it'd be fun to have a uh, like an anniversary or something, mm -hmm. you know, to to let the fans know that we're still well and alive. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. When we come back, we're going to meet a man who makes a business out of collecting old commercials. Stay with us. Wonderful. Yoo-hoo-hoo, it's Swiss cream sandwich for you. Yoo-hoo-hoo, yoo-hoo, and yoo-hoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Ever notice how wonderfully plump plums are? How luscious and sweet? Just like these sunsweet pitted prunes. Now maybe that's just a coincidence, but I don't think so. Only one prune tastes sunsweet. If you've developed a fear of frying, remember, Shake and Bake makes it easy to make crisp, juicy chicken for your whole family without frying. Why fry? Shake and Bake. How does the almond get into Hershey's Kisses with almonds? <coughs> Little Hershey's Kisses with almonds. Big chocolate taste. Introducing Glade Plug-Ins Potpourri. Plug it in fresh in the air. Plug it in fresh in everywhere. Plug into freshness with Glade Plug-Ins, now in Potpourri. Plug it in, plug it in. I'd like to share a great letter and a great improvement in Depend. Listen. Dear Jim. When my grandson won his baseball championship, I was so proud. And I couldn't have been there without Depend. Now Depend products have new double-layered Absorblock Plus. It's our best protection yet. The top layer absorbs, the quilted layer locks liquid away. June, thanks for one great day at the ballpark. Isn't that terrific? Get back into life. Coming NBC Tuesday. It was just 35 years ago that he rode into our hearts. Today, he lives on in our memories. In never-before-seen footage, family and friends celebrate the heart and humor of this remarkable man. Michael Landon, Tuesday at 8, 7 central on NBC. The good eggs at your International House of Pancakes restaurant have really whipped up something special. Unique three-egg omelets loaded with a wide variety of fresh ingredients. Big and fluffy omelets served with three of our world-famous buttermilk pancakes. The International House of Pancakes three-egg omelets. We don't cut corners on them, but right now you can. Any omelet for just $3.99. Good all day long, seven days a week, only $3.99. 
Action 5 News, your live news leader. We're back now in a closer look with a man who describes himself as the custodian of baby boom nostalgia. Ira Gallen hosts his own public access show here in New York City called Biograph Days, Biograph Nights. You know, it, it was interesting to look at the numbers, and I didn't realize this, but they show that the average viewer sees 75 commercials a day. But why do we love the old commercials more? It's, it, has a, it has a bigger uh, family feeling to it. Today, everything is pie in the face, throw the image in your face. Uh, editing and there's nothing personal about it. The, I mean, I feel like I'm in the Academy Awards here for commercials right now. <laughs> These two are the best. Thank you. Thank so this you, is a Ira, thrill so for you. Oh, this is unbelievable. I'm a hero now in New York City. <laughs> Do we this is my mother's yeah. biggest fan. Oh, that's Absolutely. great. That's great. Is it because you know, we we have this need to look back on our lives and to be passionate about those times? Well, baby boomers now they're now have turned middle aged and now they realize their past is now part of history. Mm. And I get the classic line is, before I die, I just want to see that one commercial again. Mm -hmm. And I get constant phone calls about one particular commercial somebody grew up on, because as soon as they see it, it's the old Woody Allen line from Radio Days. As soon as you hear that little music, memory flashes from your past. Like my toy commercials. I'm out to get every toy commercial that was ever had a commercial for on television. And it's really incredible. Your collection is incredible. Um, you Not have... as big as hers. <laughs> well, I collect dolls. He collects toys. I have over 14,000 dolls and 2,500 teddy bears. Oh, incredible. But, uh, uh, you're trying to keep up with him, right? No, I'm doing, <laughs> oh, no we're, we're wildly different, but we're, we oh, are I'm, I'm thrilled to see your collection. We're going to share. Well, it's interesting <laughs> that a lot of um, people started their careers um, making commercials. And uh, I believe and that you... a career change collecting commercials. <laughs> Yeah. I have, I have 30,000 commercials in my collection That's now. Good, and, and they include a lot of famous faces, and I believe that we have a clip of um, some of the old commercials, which include some famous faces, and you have to look closely to see who they are. Hi, I'm Mike Wallace, with a sensational shortening discovery for better baking and frying. It's Procter & Gamble's Golden Fluffle. It makes such a golden brown pie. Oh, man, that's some Mr. apple Hardin pie. Mr. Hardin himself a soup by itself <laughs> promoting a Fluffo. A, a soup like Sir. Campbell's beef broth is a natural. So I just feed him tabby treats. Made with meat, fish, kids, and Who is this? Who is this? Yes, mild yeah, that was and Jane Russell. kind. Kind tasting no to your feet. taste buds. Kind My favorite tasting monster. to your throat. Oh, All you favorite. need with your detergent. I, 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 I remember him. him. <laughs> that saves you time oh, yes. and money. Hey, Messy, you and hold Batman. that spoon. And Batman, Batman. Adam West. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. <laughs> you notice how long they're on these images for? Yes, right, today, exactly. boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. I know. Right there. Well, so you believe that the commercials today certainly won't have the lasting powers commercials did in the past, like a Josephine the Plumber. You know, they say thing. like in 30 years from now, will it, they look back at the 90s as a simpler time? Probably will 30 years from now, as we look back at the 50s as being a, a simpler time. Uh, I don't relate to commercials at all today. Except they're just for not interesting. No, not at all. There's no, there's no family no. personality to That's it. what was fun about what we did. We had a situation comedy in one minute, 40 seconds or 30 seconds. That's right. It, and, 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 we felt, and everyone felt, I think, that we were truly members of their family because we'd come into their home. They, they accepted us. They loved us. I don't know about you. I'm reaching my fourth generation because I'd had a whole, I'd had two careers before I started doing Josephine. And, uh, and it was lovely for the people. I know the first few months after we did Josephine, Procter & Gamble, because I said, will you help me with the fan mail? They said, well, this is only a commercial. I said, well, I, take, I really take time to answer all my letters, and I always have. And they were floored wow. at the amount of mail That's that we great. got as Everything Josephine. today is sex. Right. Besides the yeah. characters, there are a lot of old toy commercials that you saved as well, and you brought a, brought a clip oh, yeah. with you today. Yeah. Oh, if we can good. go to that. Oh, good. Here, my mystery, mystery day. day. Mystery day. <laughs> mystery day. Are you ready for your mystery day? Every girl's dream boat, right? Yep. Oh, my. <laughs> Age of Innocence. <laughs> that toy is $150 to $1,200. Do you collect the toys as well? Oh, yeah, I have 3,000 toys in my collection. All these. Oh, oh, New Roy so Rogers Quick Shooter hat at your favorite store today, and you'll always be ready for anything. 
Ask for Ideals. New Roger Rogers, put your hand. They're kind of corny when you look yeah, at that's them. Gonna be, they're going to come out as the Bernie Getz hat <laughs> coming out. A closer look is going to come back right after this. Alice and Denny thinks her trash bags are strong. Can I get her to try glad drawstring trash bags? No, absolutely not. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Allie? Uh-huh. Well, what if we take a glad drawstring bag filled with 25 pounds of last week's garbage and drop it onto your house? Not to worry, Big Al. Those glad trash bags have three strong plies of stress flex plastic, and those red drawstrings tie up tight. Now will you try glad drawstring bags, Allie? Sure, even though that's not my house. <laughs> Is this rope important? Oh, don't do that. No! Glad. Only the strong survive. Cutting back on sausage? Try new light sausage from Swift Premium Brown and Serve. 76% fat free, 100% great taste. Hey, I got my sausage back. New light sausage from Swift Premium Brown and Serve. Hmm. With Sprint, you can dial direct anywhere in the world you can with AT&T. From Alborg to Zabid. Where is Zabid anyway? Lots of margarines say they have a buttery taste, even when there's no butter in them. Craft Touch of Butter Spread has creamy, rich butter in it. Just a touch. Craft Touch of Butter. A touch of real butter makes a real difference. You get extra flavor, extra fun, in extra sugar-free gum. Extra with NutraSweet has extra fresh flavor that lasts an extra, extra, extra long time. Extra lasts extra long. We're back now on a closer look with Ira Gallen, Jane Withers, and Dick Wilson. We were just talking during the break. Oh, we have to have commercials during the show, of course. Um, that uh, just like old music that lasts and lasts, um, commercials seem to last. Um, do we prefer it if there's a commercial that has a character in it? Well, today, it's a, the biggest complaint is people don't even remember what the product is anymore mm. when they see the spot. Um, there's no family feeling towards these commercials anymore. That's the biggest problem that I have. When people call me up, I, I don't watch any new commercials today. Uh, everything's from the past. That's all I have to spend time is restoring the films, and they're much more enjoyable to watch. What about the um, commercials these days? There, it's this ongoing saga, I believe. Um, uh, the Davis family uh, and Taster's Choice now has this booming uh, romance going on with two neighbors. I don't know if you've seen I've them. I've seen a few of them. Yeah. Um, do they work? I have. They have been for them. Uh, I find the commercials cute. I'm just lost with a lot of commercials today. To me, everything is like sex in it. It's, uh, if you were doing your commercial today, they'd have you in a negligee doing it. No that. way, Jose, no way. <laughs> Do you no. think it's just a reflection of the television it's, shows that are on in order to I keep th the audience during the commercials? I think a lot of young people today are looking at commercials and like, I, I, I was spoiled, I, I grew up. My parents were Donna Reed and Father Knows Best. Mm -hmm. I had an excellent childhood. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of young people today they need authority figures. There's not, they don't see that anymore. And a lot of the commercials, if you see them, there was just all family-oriented. And it was, it was a lot of love in these commercials. Oh, and how? Today, like, not at all. Jane, what were you going to No, gonna I say? was going to say, like with Josephine, I started to say before, you know, the, uh, the, the, the version they had before was this sort of bossy lady. And I said, I don't think that's the kind of lady at all that would be a lady plumber. You to wanted me. to make her more I, I felt like she was a caring problems. lady. This was a, the, the gift God gave her. And boy, howdy, when you have a plumbing problem, you've got a problem. <laughs> and she came in and tried to help solve the situation. So she was, she was a caring, loving lady. You know what they said to me? What they said to they you? Said, uh, a closer look will be right back after this. You can tell us. <laughs> Tonight, it's the first Bob Hope Spectacular of the season with Burt Reynolds, Roseanne and Tom Arnold, Angela Lansbury and Garth Brooks, appearing for the very first time with Bob, and Lucille Ball, Johnny Carson, Bill Cosby, and many more classic clips of Hollywood's biggest stars of yesterday on an all-new Bob Hope special. Tonight, after cheer. This has been really fun to look back. Dick Wilson, Jane Withers, Ira Gallen, thanks for being with us. That's it for us today on A Closer Look. Tomorrow, look back at the Miss America pageant. Faith will talk with some of the previous winners, including Miss America of 1933. And she'll take a look behind the scenes of this year's pageant. It's the 71st, and it's coming up this weekend. That's tomorrow on A Closer Look. I'm Dawn Fertangelo. Bye-bye.
Closer Look is a production of NBC News. Tomorrow, go one-on-one -on -one with John Tesh and Frankie and Annette, a little older, a little wiser. The first time I grew up is when I got a divorce. Tomorrow on One-on-One. -on -One. The big one was when I got a call about the Clio Awards. The next room. You guys have no concept. Yeah, come on in. This is all part of a collection that I have never gotten to in about 15 years. And the owner of the Clear Awards was in a drug deal. They burnt down his townhouse. And there, folks, is films that I had just pulled out of sales films, commercials, regional films, spot advertisements. A great history of television that uh, I've never been able to get to. Now I have to figure out how to finance saving it all. That's the big question. Because there's a lot of rare, one-of-a-kind items that need to be saved. Must be smell. So the key is to transfer it all now digitally, then store it all away. And my goal one day is to walk into a building and there is everything I have in little plastic containers on a wall. Organized. George, George, stop the machine. Stop the machine. This film's so old, it just breaks up in your fingers. Can't you patch it together again? Not a chance. Cellular's only good for 20 years or so, and then it gets so brilliant you can't hardly touch it. You mean... You mean that we can't even see it? Now that we have it? There's just nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Never had the world known a more wonderful way of recording knowledge. But now it was realized that it wasn't permanent that half a century of history was about to decay out of existence.